So in the last tutorial, we have started working on the addition of two numbers in which we took uh, two text fields, one button and one label. And then we have added all the components on your frame. And then we have set the layout. We have we have make sure that it is visible. We have set the size, and we have the define. We have defined the uh, the, uh, the close operation. It should be exit and close. And let me run it again. And the output is this, in which you can type two numbers. We'll say five and four. And when you click on this button, it should show you some result. Question arises: Why it's not working? It's because you have added a button here, which is your you have added a button on the frame, but by default, this button is dumb. When you click on that button, it should listen to your event. So whenever you talk, whenever you say we are creating an event, your button should listen to that event. When you say you need to listen or your button need to listen, you need to add listeners. So like example, when I say something, if I speaking now, you are able to hear it, right? It's because you have ears. You need to add a listener to your button, and to add a listener, we need to use a method called as add action listener. Because when you click on a button, that is called as action. So we need to say add action listener. Now, if you see this method, this action listener needs an object of action listener interface. So this action listener is not a class; it's an interface. So we need to pass the object of action listener, but unfortunately, action listener is an interface. So it's your action listener is an interface. So question arises: How to create object of action listener? So we have two ways. Either we can create our own class, which will uh, we we need to search for a class which implements action listener. Otherwise. We need to use our class, which will implement action listener. So we'll go with this step. So we have to say implements action listener, so that whenever you create object of addition, it will give you object of action listener. So I hope in Code Java we uh, we have seen that that whenever you create object of a class, it also create object of its super class and it's also create object of its super interface. So when you create object of addition, you will get object of action listener. Now, how to say this? Uh, we need to use addition of. Uh, we need to use object of addition. We can simply say this. So this here is an object of addition, and it's also an object of action listener. Clear? But now there is one problem. Since action listener, so let me click on this action listener. This action listener here is an interface which has a method called as action perform. So as Java says, we need to implement. We need to implement this method. So let's go to our class and let's implement it. So how to implement? We need to say public. See the signature. It is public void action perform, and it asks you for object of action event. And action event is a class here. So what we can do, we can simply say it is public void action performed it is performed, and it, it will ask you for object of action event. We'll say A E. We need to define here, and that's it. Now you can see we need to import the package. We'll say Control Shift I, and this should comes from Java dot A W dot event dot action event, and we'll say OK. So now we can see we have action performed. Which comes from action listener, and yeah, everything looks good. But let, let's run this now. If I run this code, the output is same. If I say five and four, still when you click on this button, nothing is working. It's because whenever you click that button, it will call this method called as add action listener. It will execute action perform. So every time you click that button. It will call this action perform, and we have not written anything in this action perform. Now, what exactly will come here? That we'll see in the next part.